2 HP, the smallest company in Eurorack. Hello everyone and welcome back. Hello everyone and welcome back. Hello, okay. Based off my silly introduction, I bet you know which 2 HP module we're covering today. That's right, it's the 2 HP loop. Our tiny, high fidelity looper has incredible features to capture and manipulate your audio. And in this video, I'm going to run down the list. I'm going to talk about each feature and explain how it can elevate your patching. Okay, let's do this. First, let's patch some audio in. If you've been following along our new YouTube series or even own one or two 2HP modules, you know where our patch points are. Input at the top, output at the bottom. Now that our audio is patched into loop, that audio is passing through uncaptured by the looper. So before we capture our first loop, we'll want to make sure that the two knobs on top, mix and input level, are set where we want them. The input level controls the amplitude of the audio input and works as a VCA prior to entering the looper. Even without recording anything, you can adjust your input level like this to get your audio exactly where you want it before recording. With the input level where I want it, I also want to make sure that mix is up. Mix blends between the dry signal and the recorded loop. Okay, I'm ready to record. To start looping, I'm going to press the record button in the center of the module. You'll know you're recording when the LED is red. To stop recording, simply press the record button again and loop will stop recording and begin playing back your loop. Now that I have a free running loop going, I want to mention a few things about this initial recording. Our maximum recording time of this buffer is five minutes and you can't have multiple loops within a single buffer like this. So the first time you record a new loop, your loop time is set and this can't be changed until your loop is erased and I'll go over that in just a bit here. You'll also see on the LED that's below your record button, the mode LED. And a little white blip is now happening. The white light indicates the exact point which the loop restarts. Now, as quick and accurate as I am with my button pressing, uh -huh, my recording is not quite in sync with my audio. We can remedy this by using the record gate input, which is just above this LED. I'm going to erase our buffer here, and again, we'll go over this function in a bit. I'll record to a new buffer using the gate input. Okay, I've divided my clock rate using div, and I'm sending the slower clock to the record gate input. So, loop will record in sync with my clocked sequence. There we go. Remember that loop is a free running looper, and doesn't adhere to any internal or external clock rate. Even with a clocked synced recording, the dry audio and the loop can go out of phase over time. So if you're going to use it like this, don't forget to keep looping and recording. Now that we know how to record a loop, let's look at the four different recording modes we have on loop. You can cycle between those modes by pressing the mode button just below record. The first mode which we've been using so far is the sound on sound mode. The second mode is dub, which is the blue LED here. Dub behaves just like sound on sound mode with one unique feature setting it apart. When you hit record, the module waits to start recording until your loop hits its start point again. While loop waits to record, your record LED shines white and then turns red at the top of the loop. The third mode, Cyan, is Replace. So unlike the first two modes, Replace records over your existing loop and destroys any audio in its place and replaces it within your loop. This mode is great for when you want to keep things to a single layer of sound or if you want to swap your loop on the fly with something new. last recording mode, certainly not the least, 
is Frippertronics, the purple LED. This is inspired by the recording technique created by Robert Fripp, where each layer of the loop decays over time. This lets you fade in phrases of audio that blend with one another in pretty surprising ways. If you want a continual fade in your loop, it's best practice to leave the record button on in this mode. If you do turn off record, each layer will stay at its amplitude at the time of turning record off. This is some seriously creative stuff here. And lastly, we have just a couple of under the hood features which can be accessed by the shift button here. Holding shift, you'll see our LEDs start to pulse green. This is how you know we're in the shift settings. There are two main combinations that are used with shift. The first is shift record, which actually has two different functions, which depend on how you interact with the buttons. If I hold down shift and hold record for more than one second, loop will clear its recorded loop. See, I told you I'd come back to it. The next function is to simply hold down shift and then press the record button. This function changes your record speed from normal to half speed. Fun fact about this mode, since our loop is a single audio buffer, any recordings will enter your loop as they are. What I mean is that you can set your loop to half speed, record your audio, and then switch it back to normal speed. Then the recorded audio will actually jump to double speed. The second shift combination is shift plus mode, which toggles your playback direction of the loop. The default mode, again, the green LED, plays our loop forward. Switching it to the blue mode will play the loop in reverse. Okay, check this out. Just like the playback speed trick, audio recorded in forward mode will reverse normally. But audio recorded in reverse mode will play forward in reverse, but reverse in forward. That makes sense, right? If you're a bit confused, don't worry, I was too, but it makes sense and it's totally killer, so you've got to try it. All right, let's capture the first part of our loop here. Okay, so mix is at half, so we're hearing both signals right now. I'm gonna adjust the decay on pluck to give it more of this little tight, little plucky sound. That'll overlay nicely over our first recording. And now with mix at half, you can hear both of them. Change decay to a little longer. Let's get another little gulp. Okay, nice. Now I'm gonna turn mix all the way to full just so we can hear all three recordings. This next patch example is really kind of more of an experiment. Um, I recorded myself saying the numbers one through 10 to different WAV files that I'm gonna be playing off of our sample player here. So I'm gonna trigger it manually, okay? And you're gonna see how this is gonna work. One, one. Okay, there's the number one, one, one. And then I can scroll through those samples here. One, 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 two, three, four, five, 
six, eight, 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 seven. There's seven. Seven, nine, nine, ten. Okay, so ten. there they all are. One, one, one. So if I hit record. One, 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 one. So now we'll hear one, Luke one, play our first buffer one, back. One, one, one. If I advance this one, to number two. One, two. one, two, two, one. So let's one, hit record. One, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one one two one okay now we'll two, hear both of those one two play back one, and two, as a reminder for patronics is one, the two, mode one, where every two, recording one, makes the two, one under it one, decay over time two, one, right so let's go to one, three two, now one two two one two one three there two, it is one, so i'll hit record one two one two, let's start layering some one, threes two, over one three two, two, one one two, three, one three two, three one two three one three two one all right one two three, one three two, three one two so you can hear one, that one two, is one, fading out one two three. one so three, let's go to three, four one two four one, four three two, right. one record one two three, one three two, four four one two three one four two, three, two, one four four one two three, one Three, two, four, three, four, one, two, three, one, now two four, is fading out, four, and four, one is one, way two, back. Three, two, four, three, four, one, two, three, one, four, three, two, one, and that four, is four, Fripper Tronics. Five, 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 three, two, four, three, four, one, two, three, one, four, two, five, four, four, five, two, three, one, five, two, five, four, one, two, five, one, four, two, five, four, four, five. If you like this video and you're looking for more 2HP in your life, why don't you subscribe and hit the bell? And stay tuned for more huge videos about small modules. 2HP, the smallest company in Eurorack.